Hello everyone, this is Sheetal Maria with you at BioOcean and today we are here to learn about the classification of flowers. And this classification is purely according to the floral whorls or floral parts they possess, floral organs they possess. If anyone are new to my channel, please go and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications whenever I upload a video. But what I'm going to discuss with you today is a classification of flowers according to the floral parts or floral organs of flower persistence. See, we have organs, every other organisms have organs, likewise our flower too have organs. And according to that organs, according to the organs which a flower persists, they can be divided in variously. And that kind of classification is the one that we are going to deal today. According to this, flowers can be divided into four majorly and the first one is bisexual or hermaphroditic flowers. Bi means two, right, that I have teach you before. And now what is hermaphroditic? You are familiar with this word, right? Yeah, we have learned in biology that earthworm is a hermaphrodite. What it means? That means earthworm has its male and female reproductive organs in a single organism that a single earthworm has these two reproductive organs in itself likewise this is a flower which possesses the male and female reproductive organs in itself okay a single flower can hold the two hmm? and here this two female and male reproductive organs are gynecium and androecium respectively the female reproductive organ is gynecium and the male reproductive organ is androecium and these two are persist or included in a single flower that kind of flowers are considered as bisexual or hermaphroditic flowers and an example for this is this picture what is it this is a hibiscus hibiscus is a classic example of a bisexual flower okay and the next one in this classification is sexual flower. Uni means one. So this kind of flowers contains only any one of the reproductive organs. Like either it contain only androecium, otherwise it contain only gynecium. Okay, if those flowers are having only androecium, the male reproductive organ, they are called as male flowers otherwise staminate flowers and if this flower is having only gynecium or the female reproductive part this flower is termed as female flower otherwise a pistillate flower and an example for this is given this picture what is it you can identify it see this is a picture of a cephalandra cephalandra flower is that okay and the third one in this kind of classification is dichlamedious flowers. These are the flowers which contain both essential as well as non-essential worlds. I will teach you what this essential and non-essential worlds are in our next video. Okay, I will tell you in detail about the parts of a flower. There we can learn about this. And the fourth one in this kind of classification is monoclamedious flowers. Mono means only one. So there will be... Um, essential words and only one non-essential word in the previous one that is in the dichlamedious flowers we learned that the flower had has both non-essential and essential words here in the monoclamedious it has essential words but it have only one single non-essential word okay and according to the plants which hold these four kind of flowers, these plants can be divided again into four. And the first one among them is monogamous plants. That means they have only unisexual flowers in them. Okay, we have learned what unisexual flowers are, right? So these kind of plants possess only unisexual flowers and they are called as monogamous plants. And the next one is polygamous. Poly means many. So they may have both unisexual as well as bisexual flowers in them. And that kind of plants are termed as polygamous plants. And an example of this polygamous plant is mango, mangifera indica. Okay, they possess both unisexual and bisexual flowers in themselves. And the next type of plants are monoecious plants. Monoecious plants have both staminate as well as pistillate flowers in themselves. What staminate and pistillate flowers are? 
what are they actually they are male and female flowers okay so these kind of plants possess male and female flowers in themselves and that kind of plants are termed as monoecious and cucurbita family comes to this kind of plant so example can be termed as cucurbita flowers so that is the picture of a cucurbita flower okay and the last type of plants among this is the dioecious plants which possess only male or female flowers in themselves and that kind of plants are called as dioecious plant they have distinct plants for each kind of flower okay like um, if it is having a male flower they will be having a distinct type of plant if it is having a female flower it will be having a distinct kind of uh, plant uh, the classic example can be termed as nutmeg or papaya we know nutmeg only female can produce fr fruits male can't produce fruits right likewise papaya is also an example we know papaya male papaya have a bunch of flowers in them okay and they don't produce much uh, papayas as well but if a female plant is flowering it will be on having only one flower in between a stem and that type of female papaya plants produce the papaya that we eat okay so they have distinct plant for each kind of flowers that is the dioecious plants okay hope you all understood about this clearly so that's all for today uh, if you have any kind of doubts let me know through my email id okay if you like this video give me a thumbs up comment your suggestion and share it to your friends and all those who are interested to learn biology thank you for listening god bless thank you